On a cloudy Friday afternoon in downtown Minneapolis, a group of clear conscious men and women gather inside Hennepin Government Center to unveil the ugly face of torture. Uh, and get those signs, especially the torture is only wrong ones. The, the, the Academy Award. Uh, we're, we're here to, uh, we're all concerned about the 166 men that have been tortured in the name of our country for 11 years. Today, because it's 11 years that Guantanamo was opened on January 11th. They are still holding uh, 166 detainees. Uh, 55 of those detainees have actually been cleared for release under Bush. We have trouble with being too oriented towards war and not enough with preventive things in our society like peace initiatives or even having a peace department. We're here today, and myself in particular, to protest our various torture policies with the CIA. But war has always been around, and so people kind of tolerate it. But Getting into torture was stepping over the line of what's really acceptable, and it's an international crime. Speaking out, uh, and of course we're trying to be in solidarity by marching in orange Guantanamo suits today through the skyways. Uh, we find most people don't even know. I don't like these movies coming out to kind of propagandize the nation to accept this kind of behavior. I served in the Army, and I know a little bit in that area. And my thoughts and through other people. National release tonight, Zero Dark Thirty, portrays torture as being effective and having led to bin Laden, it's completely false. We have three senators who are challenging the movie directors for making up a story. But of course, people will go to this movie because it's nominated for Oscars. It is, uh, it's just not the right way to go, and it's just gonna be a perpetual war on, on people because we just don't care about their rights. If, if we perceive they're our enemy in any capacity, good luck, indefinite detention. So what's your program today of protest? This well, is not it. This is no, it's a couple of parts. We've been been trying to get number now. We're going to stamp those and mail them. Uh, we are also then going to uh, uh, read a poem about, uh, it's called The Man Under the Hood. Bringing back into the light every CIA black site because right now there's a man under that hood. There's a brother breathing prayers of desperation, striking hunger so hard that his ribs are about to crack. There is a man under that hood in Afghanistan, Guantanamo, and Iraq. His rights have been dismissed with the label terrorist. And just for saying this, they'll probably put my name on a list. Looks like here we go again See the world through the eyes Of little boys or men Through the eyes of a little girl